Good morning, everybody. The Ministry of Higher Education and Scientific Research is proud to launch its first language digital school, whose objective is to teach English in higher education as a project of this academic year 2022-2023, and whose name is 3 ENL+. I'm also glad to introduce you to the team of this MOOC, which is presented here as myself, Professor Nadia Idri, the trainer responsible and teacher trainer from the University of Abdurrahman, Mira University. And then we follow with our team members and teacher trainers, Dr. Radia Bourgrips from Learners Constantine, Professor Soriana Yassin from uh, University of Muludanwe, Tizi Uzu, Dr. Abdel Zaghafsi from the University of Msila, and finally Dr. Hisham Suheli from the University of Batna too. During this academic year, you will be introduced to four main MOOCs. The first MOOC is entitled Developing Strategic Reading in Higher Education. And then we have the second MOOC whose title is Developing Academic Writing in Higher Education. The third MOOC is about developing receptive oral skills, or in other words, the listening skill. Finally, MOOC number four will deal with developing productive oral speaking or all skills which is about speaking. As aforementioned, developing strategic reading in higher education constitutes the first MOOC of this MOOC series. Here we will deal first with the core sequences and units and we will offer you diversified resources and a considerable number of activities. You will also be offered a reading placement test the evaluation is first formative all along the sequences and summative by the end of the MOOC. You need to have 70% in order to get your certificate. How about the content of this course? Of course, lead, reading large amounts of text is among the challenges that face non-English speaking higher education teachers. To read and process large amounts of text, they need to utilize a range of well-practiced reading strategies. Developing strategic reading is becoming then a key success for effective and efficient reading. This MOOC, a strategy-based instruct instruction course, aims to develop strategic reading among Algerian university teachers. Through its basic content, the participant will more likely be familiar with the various reading strategies such as making inferences, drawing on background knowledge, and evaluating the information being read. Instead of reading randomly and systematically, this MOOC focuses on what kind of strategy or strategies the reader needs to manipulate at each stage of the reading process, such as previewing, predicting, skimming, scanning, identifying main ideas, getting the meaning of unfamiliar words, reading between the lines, reading, note-taking and note-making, etc. The, pedag the pedagogic benefits of this MOOC are numer numerous and profitable for any academic. While it helps many of you to become effective and systematic readers, it enhances other reading skills that could be targeted at a more advanced level, amplifying by them the development of critical reading skills. This MOOC also supplies its readers with an active reading method known as the SQ4R system. The design of this reading method turns reading into an engaged activity meant where the reader manipulates at a while systematically a set of reading strategies when reading texts. Let me introduce you to the objectives of this MOOC. First, differentiate between the three types of reading, including reading for quick reference, reading for pleasure, and reading or critical reading. Second, determine the purpose of their reading before they start to read. Third, learn how to manipulate basic reading comprehension strategies before they start to read why they are reading and the, after they complete their reading. Fourth, use their background knowledge. Fifth, the meaning or the identify the meaning of unfamiliar words in context. Sixth, respond in a written form 
to their reading experiences. And finally, seven, eva evaluate the author's point of view. Of course, before registering to this course, you need to have a number of prerequisites. First, accurately read words and identify keywords. Second, skim and scan relatively short texts to locate a single piece of information. Third, recognize main and supporting ideas in a paragraph. This book is divided into four main weeks. Week one has to do with getting started and placement test. And here, you need to get familiar with the using edX platform. And we will introduce you to the course organization. We will talk about getting your certificate. You need to participate in the discussion where you need to tell us about yourself. And finally, you need to pass your reading placement test. Week number two has to do with review of the stages in a reading process. And here we will introduce you to the three stages of reading. The before reading stage, the while reading stage, and the post reading stage. As concerns the before reading stage, it requires the reader to take a few minutes to get involved in the text. During this stage, reader can rely on a couple of before reading strategies that will help him or her to get an idea of what the author might be trying to say. The while reading stage has to do with uh, actively or reading actively the whole material to generate his or her understanding, asking questions like who, what, when, where, why and how while reading any passage makes the reader more active and involved as he or she keeps reading to find answers to his or her questions. Finally, the post-reading stage has to do with uh, when the reader looks back and thinks about the message carried in the text so that to determine the writer's intention. At this stage, after he or she has completed reading the text, the reader can evaluate and analyze the language, content and pattern of the text. The third week will also deal with the strategies of reading. And here we will go into details about each kind or each stage of reading. For the before reading st strategies or previewing and predicting, before starting to read, the reader previews the text by anticipating what comes next. And here we have to do with asking questions about the title of the reading excerpt, surveying pictures, figures, diagrams, and any other visuals, reading introductions, and reading summaries. Whatever strategy the reader uses at this stage, the results are, state, are, sta are stated questions and hypotheses that need to be confirmed. Making predictions will motivate the reader to look for answers and predictions confirmation when starting to read. The third week also deals with the during reading strategies. And these comprehension strategies encompass the reading techniques that readers use while they are reading at the text. Reading will be more focused while reading to find answers to their previous prior reviews and predictions. The during reading strategies may include identifying the main idea, uh, differentiating between the main idea and the topic centers, identifying patterns of organization, changing the reading rate, and here we talk about skinning, skimming versus scanning, and reading between the lines, inferencing, identifying facts and drawing infer inferences, context clues, and here we will talk about working out the meaning of new words from context, and finally summarizing versus paraphrasing. The third week also will deal with the the last stage, which is a post-reading strategies, these reading strategies enable the reader to think within, about, and beyond the text. The after-reading strategies that he or she can manipulate when completing his or her reading may include drawing conclusions, making judgments, and writing a reaction. The last week now has to do with the SQ4R reading system. Within its six steps of uh, the, the S. Q4R system process, any reading text and be, uh, can be able to restitute its content in an activity, uh, uh, in an activity and in an active way. And here we need to have survey, question, read, respond, record and review steps. 
To conclude, when readers learn how to practice their strategies when reading text selections, they effectively succeed not only in generating new knowledge, but rather they can further combine it with their existing knowledge. This will pave the way for developing new reading skills, including critical reading. Of course, still you need to have more detailed uh, sequence, sequences with us so you can uh, follow our MOOC in order to have more details about these four weeks' context. So, thank you very much. <laughs>